Hey, it's Chris, and in this video, we are going to check out the Brooks Ravenna 10 men's running shoe. Let's grab them out of the box and probably just start with one. So, the Ravenna is a support shoe and with some cushioning. It's got this. It's got a lovely, really padded tongue, and it says, I find this really, it says 10 on there, and at first I was like, they've sent me the wrong size shoes, it was supposed to be 11, why have they sent me this pair of 10s? Then I realized that it's the Ravenna 10, that's the model name, and when I checked the box, it was the right size, but that confuses me. Nice grip on the bottom, that looks quite good. Weight-wise, it's pretty light, I suppose I should put it on a scale, in fact, let's do that now and find out what happens. Three hundred and twenty grams. It feels pretty comfortable. Now, the way I've set the camera up is I can't get the shoe and my head in the shot. I could do that by zooming out but then you'd be miles away and that would be rubbish. So I'm just gonna have my head out of the shot. And stick the shoe up here. Initial thoughts, feels really comfortable. I'm always scared about going away from Nikes because of the toe box, but this, this really lifts up quite high. There is a ton of room for my toes. Doesn't feel too uncomfortable. Feels pretty, there's a little bit of padding, but it doesn't feel too mushy. Of course, we're not really gonna know that till we go out and do the run. But initial thoughts, I quite like this shoe. So let's go and see how it feels at running. First, review, first run, it's out with the GoPro, which is why the sound sucks. So far, they're feeling pretty comfortable. Felt, um, they were, felt supported enough, felt like I could feel the ground, they weren't too padded. Only two issues I've got is I think I've got a slight bit of rub here. And take a look when I get inside. And the other issue is my feet are just really hot. I've done, I've only done about seven, eight kilometers. So an easy pace, like 45 minutes to do that in. So I don't know if it's like the padded toe thing that just keeps all the heat in. My feet feel suspiciously hot. So I think I'll turn around for a bit of a longer run and see how we get on there. Put going on for hundred kilometers running in this shoe, not just in that one sequence, but over a couple of weeks now. And in the dry, I am really happy with this shoe. It is super comfortable, so the inside is really nicely lined. I've just been wandering around in these without socks, just in bare feet. And yeah, the, the inner lining is just super comfortable in there. The shoe is, you can feel a bit of cushion, but it's still super responsive. So no problems there. I don't feel like I'm in any way in kind of mush but it still feels nice to run in. And the wear has been pretty good. You can't really tell that I've done, it's not starting to scrub off yet. So I'm happy with that. Inside, I'm a little more worried about the wear. So 
there's just some little bobbles appearing here and I do wonder if the inner lining is going to split around the back around my heel which is frustrating because I, I untie and retie them every time I take them off if I was just ragging it off my foot then maybe that would be more understandable but maybe it's just going to bobble and it's not actually going to split so as I said super happy with these shoes in the dry but they're actually going to get a thumbs down from me because they are useless in the wet. So when it rains, even if it's just damp outside because it's just rained and the ground is a bit damp, this just loses all of its grip. And you're running along and you just can't get traction and you go around a corner and you're more likely to slip. I haven't slipped yet in fairness but I can definitely feel myself sliding about and I just can't get the traction that I get in other trainers. Now, if you live in the middle of a desert, then this is the shoe for you. I live in England, it rains a lot, and the fact that I have to check the weather forecast every time I wanna go out in these, because if it might rain, I need to switch to a different shoe is a real downfall for me. I've tested my other books in the wet and it looks like they've just made a crap sole. And that's really frustrating. It's not this shoe, it's just their entire soles just don't work in the wet. I'm pretty sure it rains in Netherlands as well. So I don't know how they haven't noticed it, but I spoke to some of my other friends that run in books, uh, specifically this model. And they've said the same thing, that as soon as it, it's wet, it just doesn't get the grip and it's super frustrating so I think I'll continue to use this shoe in the dry but I don't know whether my my search for the perfect shoe is over because it rains a lot here and this just isn't good in the wet if you found this video useful please hit subscribe also if you are looking for book shoes or stability shoes then check out my reviews of the Brooks Asteria and also the Nike Zoom Spam, which is another mild stability shoe that I absolutely love. So you can check out those reviews and hit subscribe to get all my latest videos in your feed.